face. Beautiful. G'day guys, Tony here from Off Tap Brewing. Just wanted to show you a new toy that I got in the mail today. I'm very excited about this one. I can see a lot of brewing usages. I can see a lot of around the house usages. I can see a lot of me using this product. Now, I've got to make a disclaimer. I have done a lot of research on it. A lot of pages out there will say, this product will kill you. This product is unsafe. This product eats your lungs, this product eats your eyes, this product is harmful, this product is is just dead set dangerous, government warnings, blah 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 blah. We've got a pages out there telling you how to use them safely, how to, what the benefits of them are, and you know weighs them up in comparison to all the naysayers. I've read through a lot of these pages and done a lot of research, and quite frankly. I've got two units now. I've got a food um, or an air stoning unit, and I've also got just a big, big air unit. And guys, these things are ozone generators. Basically, ozone is um, an extra atom on an oxygen molecule. So instead of it being a normal, you know, H2O, say water, if we add ozone to it, it becomes H2O2 which, if you guys know, it's hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide dissipates in water very, very quickly, um, and so does ozone in the air. Yes, ozone will kill everything. Pathogens, microbes, allergens, bacteria, mold. Um, it will kill everything. Odor-causing things. You know, if, you, if you've got a dog that has done a big shit in your house or something, or um, whatever, and you clean that up, yet your house still stinks, turn an ozone generator on, that smell's gone, so the smell from your shoes, so the smell from everything. You know, it's not going to pick the shit up for you, but it will get rid of the smell out of the air. It will change the air. Guys, the smell from ozone, ozone generators, if you, if you have been in a big electrical storm, and there's lots of thunder, and there's lots of lightning in this electrical storm, and you get that really fresh, crisp smell in the air, that's ozone. Lightning causes ozone. Ultraviolet light causes ozone. Everything, um, you know, the, the really fresh, crisp smell of, of that thunderstorm, you know, that's the ozone you're smelling. Now, the, the unit that I picked up today from the, from the post office has an air stone bubbler on it, okay? A tube, and looks like this. Very cheap. When I say cheap, I don't mean it was five dollars. It was you know, around the sixty dollar mark from China. I know you guys can get these on Amazon. I've seen them. They won't, Amazon won't deliver to Australia, but these sorts of things. So I actually got it cheaper from China. Um, now this thing's got a timer on it. I can turn it on. I can set it for. It's got five minute increments in times. And the actual manual. I'll get it for you. The actual manual gives you um, times and things you can do with it. Um, Skin protection and beauty, hand and feet, washing clothes, deodorizing and bleaching, teeth brushing, baby products and toys. And this list goes on, on just times and how to, how to clean these products. So I'm thinking in the brewery, I'm cleaning, I'm not cleaning as in um, not scrubbing and all that sort of stuff. I'm still going to be cleaning my fermenters out, but I'm going to be using this as a sterilizer. As a no rinse sterilizer, I'm going to fill it with water. I'm going to drop the air stone in for half an hour before I go to use it. And Bob's your uncle, tip the water out or put the water in the washing machine or whatever. Use the water somewhere else because it's very clean, very healthy water for you. Nothing alive in it. And then use my fermenter, which is perfectly sterile. It, it, it does, it sterilizes things. Um, and of course, no rinse. Um, other, other things you can. You can buy little battery operated ones, you put it in your fridge. You can run them in your fridge to keep your food longer, to deodorize your fridge, to, you know, sanitize things in, in, in the air. You can get air ones, which I'd be very careful buying because you don't want one that puts out too much air because, yes, you can oversaturate your air that you're breathing and it can create problems in your lungs. But if you're smart, do your research. I think these can be very beneficial. 
Now guys, follow me on my journey with my ozone generator. See how it goes, see if I get any infections. Um, it's a much cheaper option to boiling water and putting water in there because I don't have to run a boiling water, I don't have to run a kettle or anything. These things will just clean the water. Uh, they use them in uh, big agricultural um, places, they use them in, in third world countries to clean the water, to kill all the bacteria and, 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 and things in the water, to sterilize the water so people can drink it. So used correctly, these things um, can be pretty good. But if you're thinking of using them, guys, don't um, don't just go and grab the biggest one you can get and use it. Do your research and understand what you are putting into your lungs, what you are putting into your water, what you are putting into your air. Um, I've got a big, big unit that I run in my bedroom and in the house sometimes when no one's home or when I'm just home and I'll deodorize my bedroom. Um, you know, big boy beer farts. Gone. Magic. It's like magic. You know, you could just about shit the bed and it'd be gone if you cleaned up the shit. But, you know, you guys know what I mean. I've actually deodorized my shoes with them, with one. Um, I just put it over the over the unit and, um, yeah, ran it. My shoes stank. They stink of, of wearing them and and the socks. And you, knows what, you guys know what work boots smell like, especially here in Australia where it's hot and humid and you've got to wear them for 12 hours a day. Uh, um, yeah, and worked worked wonders. Um, I've actually I'm actually using um, one for my grain store. I've got this one which is movable, and I've run it in my grain store a couple of times because weevils and bugs aren't going to be able to live in it. It's going to kill everything and keep everything fresh. And you know, once a month for two hours, I'll run it in my grain store. Um, I'm not having a problem with weevils, I'm not having a problem with cockroaches or anything like that. Not like I had a problem with cockroaches, but weevils and pilsner grain, they love pilsner grain. They hate crystal, they... <clears throat> but I haven't seen them for a while. But yeah guys, this is my food one. My food one, because it's got an air bubble on it. They're very cheap, like I said, Amazon's got them or you can get them off eBay. Which leads me to another thing, if I've kept your interest enough. Guys, you've been asking for... Um, eBay links to all these all these things that I'm going to do a video um, entitled www.ebay.com <laughs> and I'm just going to show you how I find all these things because I basically some days will sit there for an hour flicking through shit and I come across this and I go, oh good, I better get two of them oh what if one breaks, I better get three um, that's how I find shit, then I just put it together and play with it I might not look at it for a year but then I go, hey, I'll put yeah, so I'll do a video on that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very excited about this uh, ozone generator technology. And yes, of course, I'm going to get the naysayers that have heard about this stuff and go, oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. I don't give a fuck, mate. I've done my research. And I'm not dumb enough to breathe this shit in, in concentrated doses, or put myself in a situation where I'm forced to. Um, so, you know, you guys make your own mind up. Um, do your research if you're interested in it, or just watch my progression on, on you know, what I go, how I how I clean a, you know, <laughs> ferment it with it or something. I actually want it. I actually want to have a go at oxygenating wort with it because it is it's an oxygen it's an oxidizer. It adds extra oxygen into something. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see if I can oxygenate some uh, some yeast starters, or you know, I've got a couple of little experiments that I want to try. Unoxygenated, oxygenated with an air stone, oxygenated with my ozone. Obviously, you put it in before you put the yeast in because it'll kill the yeast. Um, yeah, and then use that for the beer. Hey, who knows? It might be an excellent little thing. I've asked around a few people on the interweb, and no one's heard of anybody using this in their brewing situation. So. Um, yeah, I might be able to bring a world first to you guys, hopefully, or oh, it'll kill me. And then the naysayers, they'll be alright, because all the naysayers say fast as shit and they can get fucked. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know you're left from your right. 